hello everyone and welcome back to web knowledge today i'm going to show you how to configure ldap in grp261 series of ip phones so i'm going to application and then ldap option in the server address put the ucm ip address in the base dn give specific base dn for particular ldap directory or you can give global directory based again so i'm going to ucm and navigating to system ldap server so here you can see the based again is this equal to pbx is equal to com so i'm copying and pasting and in the username option you can see here in the ldap phone book option download configuration the Username option is cn equals to admin, this equals to pbx, and this equals to com. And you can see here in the grand stream IP phone configuration, so few of the options are given here. So I'm entering the username here manually cn equals to admin, this equals to pbx, and this equals to com. Similarly, we need to enter the password. The password is by default admin then ldap number filter so going back to the ucm and copying ldap number filter copy and paste in the ip phone similarly we can copy the ldap name filter from ucm so i'm going back to ucm and copying the ldap name filter from here or if you are doing regularly you will remember these options so for showing i'm showing you from where you can copy these filters so ldap name attributes is given here and i'm copying and pasting in the ip phone so i'm removing the extra parts so we need only color id name here in the name attribute similarly we are using ldap number attribute as a count number only and the rest of the part is not required. So I'm just copying the starting part. Then LDAP display name is given here. So just copying here. So I copy this and putting into the IP phone. Then maximum hits, I'm setting it to 3000. So it can support up to 3000 contacts in LDAP. And LDAP lookup for incoming calls and outgoing calls. So it is configured for so after clicking on save and apply. So here in the phone book key function, I'm setting it to LDAP search, and that's it. Now I will show you in the IP phone LDAP directory.